Ukraine has consolidated its control over parts of Russia's Kursk region that it seized in a 10-day offensive, announcing Thursday the appointment of a military commander to run the area and new military successes. In the city of Sumy, not far from where Ukrainian troops surprised the world by storming into Russia, wounded soldiers also described operations in the southern Belgorod region, the Washington Post reports. It is noted that this suggests an even larger scale of the offensive, which changes the perception abroad that Ukraine has found itself on the losing side of the conflict. In contrast to the relatively easy time Ukrainian troops had in Kursk, including news of another 100 Russian soldiers being captured, the fighting in the Belgorod region was fierce. Three soldiers, including a commander, described how they were sent to Russia after months of deployment along the border. They crossed the border in armored vehicles in broad daylight, Four days ago, said Hacker, 24, speaking on condition that he be identified only by his first name or call sign in line with Ukrainian military regulations. As they prepared to cross the border at Kolotilovka, the same place where prisoners had been exchanged earlier, he recalled thinking to himself that this was a crazy move. In contrast to the rapid advance through Kursk, the troops in the Belgorod region appeared to be prepared for their arrival. The area was fortified with dragon's teeth, anti-tank obstacles and heavily mined and the troops almost immediately came under intense attack from artillery, drones and airstrikes. The Ukrainians advanced about 10 kilometers, the soldiers said, capturing abandoned Russian positions, but the fighting remained intense. Our entire group was wounded the day we arrived, Hacker said. He was afraid that he might be killed in Russia because we didn't know their territory. We were working blind, he added. Russia has not acknowledged the ground fighting in the Belgorod region, but the governor there declared a state of emergency earlier this week. The shelling was so intense that survivors were forced to take refuge in Russian trenches for several days until armored vehicles arrived on Thursday morning to evacuate them for medical care. Among the six evacuees was Commander Sergei, 48, whose right leg had been severely injured by a drone more than a day earlier. He underwent surgery immediately upon arrival in Ukraine. We were being shot at by everyone, he said. Ukraine has launched drone attacks on Russian annexed Crimea region on the night leading to August 16. A ferry crossing in the port of Kerch, as well as a boat in Chernomorskoy, have been struck during the attack, Sergei Brachik head of the public council under the Odessa Regional Military Administration said. Ukrainian telegram channel speculated that Panzer S-1 air defense system could have been hit in the area, although these have yet to be confirmed. Russian Defense Ministry reported in its telegram channel that air defense systems intercepted or shot down five Ukrainian aircraft-type drones over the Black Sea. In addition, the department said that two unmanned boats at sea heading towards the Crimean Peninsula were destroyed. Images have been circulated in Ukrainian telegram channels, showing fire in Kerch Bridge in Crimea. Mikhail Razvoziv, the head of Crimea's Sevastopol city, wrote on telegram that the attack began at about 1.38 at night. At 2.51 am, Razvoziv said that the military had shot down three drones over the Black Sea. No civilian facilities were damaged during the attack, Razvoziv said, with reference to the Sevastopol Rescue Service. Ukrainian telegram channels reported that strong explosions were heard in Kerch, while a sidewalk and a road were damaged due to falling of debris in one of the streets in the region. Blasts have also been heard in Simferopol city in Crimea.